In this video, we'll take a look at some of the online resources available to Compton College students. Students have access to Microsoft Office 365, OneDrive, and the Adobe Creative Cloud. To access Microsoft products, you will first need to log into your My Compton portal by selecting My Compton on the Compton College website. Once you log in, scroll to the bottom of the web page. You will find both Office 365 and OneDrive tiles. Selecting the Office 365 icon will take you to the Office 365 program page where you can select the program you would like to use. On the left hand side of your window, you will find a list of programs you have access to. Selecting each icon will give you an option on the center of the screen to open a new document in that program. This will allow you to work inside of each program through your internet browser. You can navigate back to the home page by selecting the home icon in the top left hand corner. Once here, you also have the ability to download the programs you have access to by selecting install office in the top right hand corner of the window. You can install the program onto two personal computers. To do so, you will need to use your MyCompton email and password to activate the software after downloading. OneDrive is a great tool for storing files, videos, pictures, essentially anything that you need to save can go here. Two great features that OneDrive has are its ability to share what you save with others and the ability to create group documents. When you have a file uploaded, hover your mouse over it. You should see a small arrow appear across from the name of the document. Select it and you will be presented with sharing options. On the send link window, select the box labeled anyone with the link can edit. Selecting this will allow you to edit user access controls. The first option, anyone with the link, allows anyone who clicks on the link to access the document. People in Compton College with the link allows anyone with a Compton College account to access the document. They will need to log into their Compton College account first before opening the link. People with existing access is typically used as an additional restriction level after you have already granted a group access. This option limits the ability of the link to be shared with others. You can designate specific people permission to access the document. When looking at additional settings for documents, you will want to make sure the Allow Editing option is checked for those you want to have editing rights. You have the ability to limit a user's editing up to only making comments or suggestions by checking the Open in Review Mode option. You can set an expiration date for access. Once the date arrives, the system will remove permission to access the document. You can also create a password for added security. Lastly, you can control whether users have the ability to download the file. This is a great way to control what others can do while they have access to a document you have shared. This option only works if you remove a user's editing ability. It should be noted that you cannot allow someone to edit a document and block their ability to download it. After you have made all your selections, select Apply and you'll be taken back to the Send Link screen. Copy the link and send it to whoever you want to grant access to the document. Students also have access to the Adobe Creative Suite, available at a discounted price. Visit the web address on the screen to visit the College by Student Store. You will need your Compton College email address in order to get the discounted rate. This video was an overview of some of the tools available to Compton College students. If you have technical issues, please contact the help desk. Otherwise, contact the Distance Education Department for assistance.